All right, this is going to be a quick tutorial for asset porting. And what that means is bringing stuff from one level to another. So I'll show off from a level model and then from the actual level itself. So we'll start with Sandy's Dream, which is DB02. And if we look here, we have the acorn, we have the skull, and we have the slide. And I can't actually select these because they're part of the level model. So the best way to get this out is organize layers. And then it's in a BSP, which is part of the level models. And you just click through to what you find is red. So it'll be this third one, it's red. Export, textures. And then I already did this before, but we have dream. You name it, whatever you want. Open up Blender. And then you'll import this. We just exported Dream. And then you'll click on this third circle up here to give you some textures. And you select what you want. We want the acorn. We'll control I to delete everything else. And you want to put this in the middle of the grid where the center of the grid is because if it's over here sometimes whenever you turn your camera in the game it'll turn invisible so having it in the center will stop that so move it up to the center and if we try to rotate this it'll go around this little orange dot so we can fix that by doing object apply transforms and now it'll follow the actual center of the object so we'll export this Already done that and go over to our new level you have an empty brand new level here and we could add the model layer move that up to the top and then a texture layer move that up to the top and then texture you'll do import textures we use the acorn, so we'll select the acorn texture. And we'll import models. You want to click flip and you want to also generate a simp. You don't have to do this, but it makes it a little easier. And then we'll do our acorn. And here we'll notice that's a little red. This happens whenever you import stuff from level model. So we could fix this by edit data set vertex colors make sure these are all one 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 and then you hit okay and that'll fix it so once you have that done we can move spongebob to the top so that is getting stuff from a level model and now let's say we want something from the actual level so we'll reopen dream And we will hide some of the stuff, triggers and sounds, so that we can see what we're doing. And let's say we want one of these clouds. Click on the cloud. We'll copy this over to our new level and we'll paste it. And then we need the model for this. So we'll click edit and it tells us it's DB Cloud Pinata. So we come over here, suggest organizing it. And then we go to models. And you can just click through here until what you see is red. So DB Cloud Pinata. That in the model layer. And then it uses the cloud textures. So we'll go over to the textures. And we'll find cloud and we'll copy paste that too. So now that we have that, close out of Sandy's dream. Open up our thing. And here we go. This is a newer IP version. So there's a couple issues where there's like ghost objects you can't actually click on, but that's fine. Save both of these. Go over to Dolphin. 
That's an incorrect mod. I have to re-add this. And also, you want to... If you're not replacing a level in the original game, you want to make sure you can spawn in the level. So we'll change this to TSO1, which is my test level that I just changed. And then we'll open this up. And here we go. We have the acorn and we also have the cloud. So here's how you get stuff from an actual level terrain and then just an object in the level. But what if we want something a little more complex, like an enemy? So we can close the game. And enemies already have files, but let's say you don't want to use these or you want something that isn't in these already included files. So if we look at one of these for reference, what you're going to need is you're going to need all the textures, you're going to need all the models, and then sometimes with some other extra stuff, like enemies have a lot extra. So come up to, let's say, Jellyfish Fields, and we want a hammer robot. You need to open your level hop and also the level hip. So once you have these, you can make a new file. And we could start bringing stuff over. So we will look at a hammer robot. And if we look at this, we have an MINF, which is used for like animated models. So we need this hand bind MINF. Find that hand bind. And if we look at this, we need also an ATBL, which is an animation table, which holds all the animations. And as you see, there's also a lasso guide. This is if you have like Sandy in the level. So we'll copy that too. There should also be one for here, yes. And we could also just type ham. And hammer shrapnel is also one you want too. This is whenever the robot breaks into pieces. So we have that. That is all we need on this side. And now we have the hop file. So we'll come down here. We need an S and D top. And with these, you need a sound info file. So you can click other. Add template other sound info and then we need an s ram layer which goes above that and you want to find all the sounds so we have hammer 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 and you also want generic robot if you're using a robot so we have those we need an animation layer which needs to be above default and in the animation, we'll find all the hammer ones. And if there's a lasso, we'll get those two. Then we need a model that goes on top. And I'm going to organize so that I have one big list. Go to hand bind and lasso ham. And you want the frags, which are whenever the robot breaks into pieces, you want these two. And you want these two generic bolts just for added detail. And then we go up to textures all the way up to the top. Looking for hammer. And usually FX sometimes has it, depending on the robots. If not, then that's fine. So now we can click through our models. 
uh, the texture needs to be above the model. So yeah, click through here and make sure you have all your textures on the robot. Hammer, hammer. The fragments are all hammer. S is a color. Okay. So once you have all of these, we can click the ATBL, click animations, and those should be filled out if you copy all of them correctly. There's also this model info. We click on this, we have hand bind and lasso ham. So we have both of those. We have the audio. We have a sound info holding our audio. So now we can save it as hammer. And we should be able to just import this file now. Generic, yes. Oh wait, I imported it to the wrong file. Okay, hold on. I, I selected the wrong one on X now. Okay. Now we need our own level. Here we go. This is better. So now we have that. Save or hop. We go over to the hip. We click on the template for the enemy we chose, which is a hammer. Place one of these down. Refresh. Save. Make sure everything's saved. And we go over to Dolphin. And now we have our enemy carried from another level. It could be an enemy, it can be an object, it could be really anything you want. But as long as you get every single file needed for it, then, you know, you'll get it. That's it.